Um, I don't know, but um, I mean, what's too deep? I mean, I, I think that's that's part of it. You go as far as it'll take you. Um, but I, I think people sometimes don't really have an understanding. Or look, I think every actor is different. I can just say for myself. Um, you know, uh, honestly, on, on, on this, I, I thought it was an enjoyable experience because it it was challenging, yes, and there are parts of it that are difficult, but more than anything, I felt inspired and excited by it, excited about the possibilities of how we might um, explore and examine each each scene and how he behaves in, in each moment and what his motivations are. All of that was so opaque um, that there became something really fun about being almost constantly in an investigative mode. Mm. Um, there never was a point where I think Todd or I felt like we understood him um, and his motivations, that it wasn't perfectly clear. Um, and that keeps you on your toes. It keeps you um, trying to, to, to get ahead of of him and and what's going to be presented to you when, yeah. when you're shooting. And I've never done that, but I, I don't know about this getting too lost in the character. I don't know if I if, if I believe that. Maybe that happens for for some people. Um, but no, I think that setting boundaries is the absolute wrong idea. Um, I think you have to go wherever it takes you. Um, yeah, to me, that's the that's the point of it. Uh, no, I didn't, um, because he didn't have that experience, um, you know, prior to the scene that we we see. Um, but it was it was an ongoing uh, process. There wasn't just one kind of fixed period of of um, research um, or or study. Or something that kind of kept going on because, to be honest, the, the character in the film evolved and changed in ways that I don't think that we had expected. Um, and so it really was this ongoing process. I don't really have much of one. Um, when I was young, I remember reading Arkham Asylum, the graphic novel, um, and I think because of that, uh, you know, I, I love that. I thought the art was really beautiful. And um, so I think I started collecting Batman a little bit then, but um, I had primarily collected like Wolverine um, and X-Men uh, part of that. Whatever it is that you get from it, I don't want to. I don't want to tell you what to get from it. You know what I mean? It's. I think part of what I like about this movie is it's going to challenge each person in a different way. Um, and I don't want to impose kind of what I think the film is about or what it's saying onto anyone else. I want you to have like your own unique experience. This is one of the rare movies, in general, but certainly in the kind of superhero genre. Um, that isn't didactic, that isn't telling you specifically what the motivations of the hero or the villain are. Um, I think it's something that challenges you in a way that is unexpected. Um, and that, to me, is the value of the movie, is to go into a movie and not know what you're going to get and to not know how you're supposed to feel about the character until you experience them. Um, that, to me, is a fucking rarity. Um, and that's what I think I was, why I was really attracted to this and what I like about it and why I think it's such a fulfilling experience.